One wound, my father said in front of the mirror as he was tying his tie, when for the first time I saw blood streaming from my knee, which I had grazed. The body always has at least one wound, is the first whole sentence I remember my father addressing to me in those days when I had just begun to get to know the world. I was four years old and took part in my life's first philosophical discussion. Why must we die? My father breathes the darkness locked inside himself. It hurts is the last sentence my father says to me on his deathbed. After a whole day without possible communication, this sentence stands clear as a wound may shine. The afternoon silence exposes the words. Look how the wound is glowing. It hurts, but between these two sentences, a life has unfolded, holy, holy, for as the Japanese, the Greek, in Tarkovsky's Andrei Rublev, after all kinds of trouble blurts out, it's so pretty, though, and now it's snowing. Mm. Well, I didn't do it total justice, um, but it's a really beautiful poem. Mm. I was very struck by it. I just, I picked it up and opened the book, and there it was. And it's yeah. also she references uh, my favorite movie, Andre Rublev. Yeah. So I thought it was fate. So everything ties together. Yes. Uh, I, I I have always uh, admired the way that e even at times there were that was. Uh, blatantly unpolitical uh, you have always insisted to invoke the the power of the people and um, and you sound as if you believe there's an immense strength to be to be gotten there um, the power the people have the power the power to dream to rule to wrestle the world from fools um, do you still believe in this concept, the power of the people, and what exactly should be the aim of the power of the people in this day and age? Well, I'll always believe it, but I know that in our present day, it's harder than ever to, uh, to believe that we have it because our corporations and governments uh, have become you know, so... Uh, you know, blatantly powerful. They use everything against us. Uh, if something bad happens, they step up security so that we feel like we're losing our freedom. They decide, you know, how and when we should use our voice. Uh, the corporations uh, pollute our world. I mean, I just read that, uh, for instance, your own country has least... Uh, part of uh, Greenland to China to uh, build one of the biggest mines in the world. And how that's going to impact the environment of Greenland and also uh, the world, we don't know. And what can we do about that? What we can do about it is protest by our numbers. We are really not going to be able to exercise our power by a few flutter protests of people that uh, are out in the forefront. Mm. The people en masse, the masses, have to step up. Because when it says the people have the power, that does not mean the cool people, the artists, the poets, uh, the mavericks. It means the people. It means the, uh, uh, the masses. And the masses have to look around and see what our governments and what our corporations are doing to our world, to our earth. And it's going to take a lot of sacrifice. If you know the factory that you're working for and you need the money to raise your children, to feed your children, are polluting the waters, uh, and you look the other way, well, 
maybe you'll understand when all your children start getting cancer from all of these chemicals and these are terrible questions and 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 sacrifices that human beings are going to have to make on mass we have to change the way that we think about our world and we have to stop relying on our governments and corporations to make the right decision our environment is is being completely trashed and um, we we have though in our time and really the younger generations are really going to be our great hope because mm. they understand how to use it more but present technology we have the power with present technology to unite quickly globally we could have global strikes we could have uh, decide globally we aren't going to buy material things we aren't going to uh, um, um, we aren't going to rely on our governments and corporations we can just decide to strike against certain corporations to strike against our government all getting together through texting mm. through the internet just deciding okay on uh, May 1st we are a the whole planet is going to have a sit-down strike, you know, and it can be done. Mm. It can be done. But we need, we need to network. And I think that the we are in a pioneer time, a very crucial, interesting, difficult time with new technology that we don't even understand. All this new technology is being wasted on, you know, some kind of uh, social media uh, celebrity bullshit where people uh, you know are getting very uh, excited to see themselves you know on the internet okay that's fine because it's fun for a while then we have to go another step what can we use our technology for to join as a people globally to join as a people globally and put our governments and and uh, and corporations on their knees and remember who who runs the planet the people